Hello everyone, welcome back again to OnHow channel. If you don't know, my name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any other requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add trust badges to Shopify store. So if you are using down team, you can only add the trust badges on the footer of the Shopify store. However, if you want to add it below the buy now button or add to cart button, you cannot do that. You can actually by implementing a code and so on. However, it does not look great and it will not work the same for every team. So I'm trying to show you something that will age well for all teams because I know not everyone uses a down team or sense team. So each one has its own preference. So in this video, I will show you how to add trust badges to any team on Shopify. And I will actually show you that in two ways. The first one, by using a really lightweight app that you can add the trust badges that you can customize it however you want with animations as well below the add to cart button or buy now button if the customer access a product page the trust badges widget will show up in animation not like static content on the page like text and so on so by using a lightweight app you will not affect the loading time of your shopify store because i know and you might already know Using too many apps on your Shopify store can affect the loading time. And the loading time is everything when it comes to conversion rate. If your store actually loads really slow, that will affect the conversion rate really badly. So it's the best do not use or install too many apps on your Shopify store. Use the minimum as possible. And when I always try to find the apps or tricks for people that ask me questions, I always do heavy research and try different apps and also check out the code they do implement in the Shopify store. So I can see which one works really heavy on the Shopify store, has a lot of codes and so on, and which one works really lightweight and it does not implement too many codes on your Shopify team. So in this video, I did the same research and I find two apps, as I said, the first one, which is really lightweight, it's really small app that's actually doing the job. And if you are wondering what's the second app, it's actually a really multi-purpose app that has a lot of options. And obviously the trust badges on Shopify product page but a lot more actually like the countdown timer for a, a specific offer or something like that you can implement that on the product page as well from the single app and not just that free shipping bar at the top of the page and the sticky add to cart will show up uh, at the bottom of the page and i did make that video as well and i did pick a lightweight app for that as well let me show you what i'm talking about so let's just access this product and here is as you can see it does show up at the bottom of the page and this is a really lightweight app that will add the sticky add to cart to the bottom of the page and this app that we'll show you in this video can do this as well however as i said it's really a bit heavy on the shopify team and not just the sticky add to cart you can actually add the animation for the add to cart button just like this one right here it will be animated just like you see once the, the customer clicks on or access the product page the add to cart button it will be animated and without any more talking let's just get to it and show you the first one which is the lightweight one that can do the job and will not affect the loading time then i will show you the second one which combines all the options as i said so let's just click on app section right here then click on recommended apps and click on shopify app store at the bottom of the page and it will take you to the Shopify app store, obviously. Then click on the search bar right here and type in uh, trust badges bear. Just like you see, uh, I mean the bear, the animal. <laughs> so just click on it and it will show you this app, at the, which is the first one right here. It has really good ratings and it's completely free as you can see. So simply click on it. Actually, you don't have to do all of this again. Just scroll down the description box and you will see the link down below. And after that, click on add app right here and give it a couple of seconds it will redirect you as always to shopify dashboard and click on install app then it will show you the dashboard right here so obviously it says the trust badges are disabled so let's just enable them first then we will customize them however i will want and the first option is the header settings right here so in here you can customize it as i said however you want so let's just uh, customize the first one which is uh, secure checkout with and I don't think you could really change this. You don't have too many options to change it with because it's obviously pointing out that it's secure checkout with these companies or whatsoever. So I'm going to keep it like this. And the option below it is the phone. So you can change the phone for that as well. And once you hover over a phone from here, it will be changed automatically as you can see on the preview right here. And I'm going to keep it as default again. And the phone size and the header if you want it to be on the right or at the left as you can see 
or in the middle like this and we'll keep it in the middle so the text color it obviously should be based on the background of your Shopify store if your Shopify store background is a darker color then the text color should be white obviously and in my case it's white then I'm gonna keep it as black and scroll down a little bit and you will see the badge settings right here so the badge style either mono so if you did select mono which is the mono effect it would not have colors on the icon so this is based on the team or based on the style or design actually of your Shopify store and this will look really good in some cases however in my case I'm going to keep it as original actually I'm going to do the cart uh, layout which is uh, showing the icon in cart as you can see and the same as the previous option which is the alignment on the right and the left on the badge size on desktop which is medium I'm going to keep it as medium like this and the option below it is for the mobile and it should be small on the mobile actually it should be small because even if it's small on the, for the mobile it will look bigger on the phone because it's a phone obviously so I'm gonna keep it as small and after that scroll down a little bit and this is the fun stuff so this is the animation as I said so you can animate the badge right here or the widget however you want for example it's a slide in let's just click on play animation and as you can see it's a slide in animation just like you see and there is more options here here for example pop it will pop up like that then the groove right here as you can see then fly and so on however I do like slide in just like this and that will show you obviously how it will look like so let's just keep it as slide in scroll down a little bit and the placement so the placement will be automatically you don't have to do anything it will be automatically set below the buy now button however if you want to implement it in a specific part of the page not below the buy now button or the add to cart button simply copy this code right here then you will need to add it to the template file which is team.liquid and I think most people will want it below the buy now button obviously however if you want to place it in a specific part on the page just drop me a comment below I will be happy to help you out and now the last step which is the se selecting the badges right here so it's simply click on the green button that says select badges and here we go check out how many badges in here they are a lot as you can see every payment gateway you can find it in here even the ones that are only available in a specific countries for example grab right here on the grab pay which is only available in southeast asia so it's not available everywhere and here it is again for you so you can find every trust badge in here in my case i'm going to keep this right here because these are the regular ones so let's just close this then let's just click on save at the bottom right corner right here so simply click on save and let's just check it out and see how it look like actually on the store and let's just access some product from here by the way if you are interested in this uh, color variants right here with the pictures as you can see this one is the purple uh, the green the red and so on make sure to check out my channel I did show how to make that and let's just click on this product right here and here we go as you can see it did show up with animation secure checkout with the trust badges that we did select so let's just reload the page so you can see it clearly and here we go as you can see it does really look good and now let's just head over to the next app which is the app that has a lot of options like the countdown and stock countdown and add to cart animation as well as the countdown timer and by the way the countdown timer if you want to add the product of your Shopify so the Google shopping make sure to disable that because it's actually against their conditions so keep that in mind so let's just uh, close this and uh, remove this app obviously so right now again simply click on apps right here then click on uh, recommended apps and Shopify app store then simply type in on the search bar right here and again actually you don't have to do this just scroll down description box and you will see this app right here which is completely free again as you can see so you don't have to pay for anything and click on add app right here and it will be added the same as the previous one so let's just click on install app and here we go check out how many options in here as you can see so all these options are available in a single app the countdown timer trust badges which is the thing we are looking for obviously a sales pop free shipping bar announcement bar an active tab which is when the customers uh, open up your Shopify store in the tab and access it and another tab it will start notify him on that tab to access it again which is really cool and the sticky add to cart uh, add to cart animation live chat stock countdown there is a lot but however uh, they can actually affect the loading time of your Shopify store and it does make sense enabling all these options will add bunch of lines to Shopify team 
so we only want cross badges and the downside to this does not have any animations and you will need to add it from the team customizer so let's just enable it from here then we'll go to the settings by the way if you are interested in how to use the all the options in this app because there is a lot as you can see just drop me a comment below i will be happy to make a video for you then as you can see that it says there is no uh, badges found and click on add new button right here simply click on it and it will show you the trust badge as you can see on the preview for the mobile and for the for desktop right here so let's just switch to mobile then in here you can select the layout or the preset which is this one or this one and you can enable as well the pictures for the trust badges so let's just keep it as the first one then we're going to remove the discover right here so i'm going to keep just this six and if you want to add another badges that you don't see here simply click on choose badge and it will show you a lot of badges however the previous app I did show you has more options than this one and some of these have a lock on them you need to contact them or something like that the app is free but I'm not sure about these and you get the idea so let's just close this then in here you can see the content in here so you can change as well the header text which is secure checkout width and I don't think you can really change this and the size for the widgets or the trust badges sorry so let's just keep them as small like this looks better and the alignment on the left or on the right and obviously you want to keep it on the center and the advanced settings right here if you click on it it will give you the option to change the text uh, bigger or smaller however you want and the text color as well the font and the badge style if you want to select the mono again it will not show the color for the icons for the trust badges and the badge box uh, which is full width or custom width i'm going to keep it at custom width so that's all i think you can change in here and let's just click on save then it will show us the code as you can see for the widget so let's just copy the code for the widget then click on go to team it will take you directly to the team customizer then we will do a last step in order to be shown on our product page so for example this product page right here so to add this simply click on out block right here simply click on it then it will show you all the apps below and click on trust badges right here then simply paste in the widget id right here so let's just paste in the widget id and you can select the size or medium small large i'm going to keep it as medium and it should be shown let's just check it out and here is at the bottom of the page let's just drag it up just below the buy now the buy button sorry so let's just leave it in here let's just scroll up and here is as you can see however as i said does not have any animation so if you don't like lightweight things and with animation obviously you don't have all those options that this app does offer then i would recommend you the first app because it's really good and it does the job without any extra code on whatsoever so that's how you add the trust badges to your shopify store easily and lightweight and if you don't like the counters and all those animations then use the second app as i said and as i said again in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one